good god, is that him already? Oh god! Bro, why does he look like that already, bro? He looks like a, a, a villain from freaking Elden Ring or something, bro. Oh god! Why is it so meaty? What is your cause? Please enlighten our audience. What do you want? Alright y'all, I'm back with another banger for y'all young boys today man and hey man I'm back with another special reaction video for y'all young boys today man So alright y'all, today we're back with a very 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 special treat for y'all young boys today It's called The Return of the King of Mukbang from our boy Meat Canyon mm. If y'all already seen me canyon videos, which y'all most likely have, y'all already know this is about to be another horrible display of something crazy. It's gonna be something grotesque and crazy that pops up on the screen. And I'm always here and can't wait to sit there and see it. And today's victim of me canyon is Nico Avocado. Again, because if y'all haven't heard that Nico Avocado apparently did this master scheme of master plan where he been releasing this whole time old videos of him when he was heavier set. And then out of nowhere, he popped out and he showed that he's basically smaller than me. You know what I'm saying? And the internet's been having mixed opinions about it and everything, but I just want to say one thing, despite all the jokes and everything, that is an amazing accomplishment, that that man chose to sit there and change his life like that. He chose to sit there and put his health first and choose his appearance first and sat there, got in the gym or dieted properly, and now he looks amazing. He looks amazing. I think he was a beautiful person before, of course. I think everyone's beautiful. But at the same time, like, you can't deny that my man, my man put in work. He put in work and lost all that weight. I'm proud of him. But we're not here for that today. We're here to sit there and see what Me Canyon has to say, y'all. But all right, y'all. Let's get into the video, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Y'all new, y'all. And let's get into the re return of the King of Mukbang. Good God. Is that him already? Oh, God. Bro, why does he look like that already, bro? He looks like his whole body is melting. Like his face looked soulless and melty. He looks like a, a a villain from freaking Elden Ring or something, bro. Oh my gosh, like me can what do you be seeing in your dreams, brother? What visions you be having that makes you want to see stuff like this? Good God. Oh. oh god I guess I wasn't too far off on the melting theory I, I, I didn't know that and I was also thinking when I was looking at his eyes it looked like he was wearing a suit like his eyes and his face looks like he's wearing a mask or something like that and it looks like all his old body is melting, melting off good god but where is he at too I also want to know where is he at Oh, God. Why is it so meaty and juicy? Oh, not the tits. Oh God, why is he making that face? Oh God. <laughs> oh dear God, I don't know why he made that. I think I know why. And I think from knowing people that actually have pulled up amazing fitness transformations, they said it does feel similar to that. They feel as though they became a whole new person. They feel as though they shedded everything back from their past life and their past appearance and became something new, like a butterfly or something like that. A lot of people describe their weight loss and everything as them 
metamorphosizing from like a caterpillar to a butterfly and that's kind of what avocado kind of did in this video and i didn't understand the purpose of like this slime like or greasy background but maybe that's like his old lifestyle like when they say when you feel when you're bigger or fat you feel all slimy you feel all sluggish you feel greasy because of all the foods you eat and everything and maybe like that's how he felt like all this cloudiness and all this greasiness and muck and maybe that's how he felt every day or how it feels being a bigger person all the day that's having a terrible ha a lifestyle and a terrible eating habits and stuff like that maybe they feel like everything is clouded everything is greasy everything is sluggish because he came out the he even came out the like the the the, the grease or the, the ocean like all sluggish and slimy and stuff like that so maybe that's how they they feel it and maybe when maybe also when he finally shedded that all that fat and that that old life of his he, and he saw the clouds clearing and everything. Maybe that's why his face was all this, like, like super smiling. It was a creepy smile. It's a Meat Canyon cre uh, video, so it's always going to be creepy. But it was a creepy smile. But maybe him seeing basically the light at the end of the tunnel and the new potentials of his life after he sat there and finally shed it off all that fat. Maybe that's why he sat there and had that expression and started to cry and stuff like that. Because he felt like, dang, this is a new beginning for me. And I love that for him. I do. I love that. I know everyone has their own opinions on Nico Avocado Bo, But if he actually did a legitimate thing and lost all that weight and he, everything's real and everything i i give him a round of applause bro and me can i think this is your attempt of actually congratulating him yourself <laughs> i think so i think this is the most wholesome me canyon video i think melvin sometimes that last melvin video was very wholesome but this is one of his more wholesome videos man and Hey, I think we both want to say congratulations, Nico, man. Congratulations. But all right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if y'all new, y'all. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.